Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Buddha, Buddha, thank you for the food. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Is that, is that... That's like, how we're introing every episode now. No. Because this is we a have Christian a lot of podcast. We have a lot of Christian viewers, thus a Christian podcast. Wait, mm -hmm. it's, so when you like had to eat food as a child, did mm -hmm. you is that like the little prayer you did? No, uh in my family if my parents remembered, mm -hmm. it would be like, "All right, let's say grace." And it'd be like, Lord, thank you for this food that we are about to eat. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. They, I think, to, I think for Christian families to try to like come up with a uh, something that feels like a little less going through the motions. Mm. So they'd think, my parents, I would think about like what is something relevant to us right now, and it's mm. like, well, help us get us, help get us through this. Finals week. Oh yeah, help <laughs> in on his finals week, and then help help. Uh, I don't know if I want to dox my family. Well, I was gonna say, <laughs> I was help, gonna say. help Ian's sister. <laughs> yeah, Ian's <cat>. sister. Help <laughs> Ian's mom with X, Y, and Z. <laughs> help Ian's sister's cat with its bowel movements. Yeah. Lord knows that they've been real bad lately. <laughs> that was sort of the uh, mm. the way it would go when I went over to friends' uh, houses. Mm. It was very much that Buddha, Buddha, thank you for the Fuda oh, okay. type of thing. Uh, uh, I had one friend that like would uh, he did that because he knew that I was uncomfortable. Mm. I would go to his house and his his parents would always make me like <laughs> hold their hands. And, like, oh God! Which, like at least where I lived, it wasn't very common to do prayers at like dinner tables. So he knew that I was uncomfortable. And uh, the one time they were like, Keenan, would you like to? say the prayer and he like closed his eyes and i could tell like he he, he was got, cooking he was cooking and like a smile kind of like you know like yeah across his face and he was like buddha buddha thank you for the food and his grandmother shrieked nice um i really i mean it's funny <laughs> that is sweet um okay so it's been i think about two weeks since the last podcast yeah uh so that we recorded that we recorded mm -hmm. yes true not well for said. the plebeians um, and a lot of things have happened in that time. Yeah. I have uploaded two videos. We went to Canada. Mm -hmm. I went to L.A. Mm -hmm. uh, and you uh, went to L.A. to record a, a video with William Osmond, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which you haven't done a collab video with Will since you uh, took apart a car. True, true. Yeah. That car video fucking sucked. I mean, the video was good. It was just such a what was not crazy worth it uh, th exercise and things to do. You were in the middle of boxing training, and yeah. I was like, please, whatever you do, don't injure your hands. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You take a crowbar within the first five minutes and mm -hmm. throw it through. Oh, I didn't throw it. I tried to strike the uh, uh, window yeah. thinking that I could break it with the pointy end. Yep. And then you cut your... Uh -huh. Eventually, I did. Cut your wrist open, didn't you? Wrist uh, or hand? It was like wrist area. Yeah. I was like, With glass? Yeah. yeah. Window glass. Oh. I didn't hear about that. Yeah. It was... Uh, I mean, every... A bloody mess. I swear to God, <laughs> every day during training was an event. to God. Well, that's true. What? Quit it with the Christian shit. <laughs> One day you will... Whoa. You will come to the Lord. <laughs> One day you will be a sheep in the Lord's pasture. Well, One day you're going to be at the pearly gates, and you're going to mm -hmm. really regret saying all that crap. Yeah. Whoa, wait. I actually just had, like, a big realization. Uh -huh. the, the people who, like, use sheep derogatory, yeah. they want to be sheep. I know. Isn't I know. They want to be the God's shepherd? sheep. Yeah. Yeah. So they're okay with being <laughs> sheep. God's the only sigma. Oh. A lone wolf, whatever. Oh, wait, no. What the sigma? That doesn't work. The wait, do you say what the sigma? Yeah. <laughs> what the sigma? Uh, no, you're right. It is like a like a, a fucking farmer that guides the sheep. It's a shepherd, yeah. Right, the shepherd, yeah. The shepherd, which is Christ. But it's weird though because when all of these fucking conservative weirdos come out, they're like, "I'm a lion. I'm not a sheep." And it's like, "Well, fuck." I don't even think lions like, eat sheep. 
I, if they're given a chance, I think they would. Well, yeah, in the same way, it that might not be part of a the... Tyrannosaurus Rex eats a goat in the movie doesn't mean right. that like it's part of its diet. Oh, yeah, like yeah. it's just weird that the predator that you refer <laughs> right, to right. is a lion, yeah, yeah, and that you eat other human beings. Yeah, well, isn't it? That's a Christian like reference: the oh, lamb and the and the lion. Oh, like oh. before, because like. I think the way it goes, this is like my rudimentary understanding of the Bible because I never actually read it. I was just exposed to like the children's Bibles and stuff mm. growing up. Um, the story, I think, is that like before like man abandoned God or something, like in the Garden of Eden, like all the animals got along. Mm. And like the image that they always use of that is like a lion and a sheep hanging out. <laughs> okay, okay, but that, but that yeah. like furthers the lore making no sense and being right. weird then because like they were buddies, like yeah. you. What's they the... were chill. They were chill. Yeah, what are you gonna do? They didn't even have to eat each other. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna go through what is scheduled in today's video. That is unique and new for you. Yeah, it's called the what's docket. on the docket. Yes. Oh. Thank you, Dane. Hmm. Um, the itinerary. <laughs> number one, we're going to talk about our Canada trip. Number two, we're going to talk about a little discovery I made on this Canada trip that uh. has to do with myself <laughs> 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 and my internal organs. Oh, you were discovering your body. I was, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was discovering Whoa. my body. Good thumbnail. <laughs> um, and, uh. We're, I'm, I'm going to talk about the Australia upload and the keychain upload that I just did. Mm. We're going to talk about Anissa streaming again. Oh, crap. Oh. Yeah. I, I missed it. Oh, you did? Yeah. <sighs> Better not admit that. Oh, yeah, wait, you did. What the crap. hell? You're supposed to be our friend. Dang, I, didn't, you're, I you're, didn't know. You're supposed to be our romantic third. You don't even the know when one time... of us is making a career change. The last time that we talked about this, you were like, I'm never doing that shit again. I fucking hate streaming. So true. I was like, oh, I don't even have to keep an eye out. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the William Osmond LA trip uh, slash open sauce slash mm -hmm. something else that is contextual. Uh, and then the final topic is... Ombudsing. We're going to do a big ombuds of the last episode. Fine. That's fine. But then I have to add in my thing because apparently it's oh, not on the docket. Oh, she's been storing things. Uh, my teeth fell out. Oh, right. I just felt Her like we've been on a, on a series of... Uh, no, totally. I just wanted to say they officially fell, fell out. Fell out. Okay. That's um, good. They yanked them mm -hmm. and they're gone. Yeah. Congratulations. They, you said... I think you, you, earlier... Oh, good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Earlier, you said that the dentist, like, I guess this is, like, something that they do is they eat the teeth. <laughs> yeah. So when they pulled it out, they yanked it, and it made, like, a pop, snap, crackle, pop. And then a uh, big then grin said, mm. a big grin came across her face, and she, like, you know, like, the Titans from um, Attack on Titan, her yeah. mouth, like, unhinged, and she just, like, placed it in there. <laughs> oh, so it was a lot bigger than what was needed. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah that's strange yeah, that yeah. she had to unhinge it yeah. for such a small morsel. Yeah. Oh, so it's like a skittle to them. <laughs> to their but big that's why mouth. a lot of dentists get into the business is so they can have access to lots of scrumptious teeth. Mm. It is their um, oh. nutrient source. It's nutrient dense. We should bring on your dentist. She's super nice. Yeah, and ask her if she has a collection or what have you. Oh, who was? She did say that she collects her puppy's teeth. Oh. Like, she was like, oh, I'm so excited because my puppy's teeth are falling out and I collect them. Sick fuck. To eat, yeah. probably. I think we're all sick fucks, but we find little ways to not look like sick, twisted fucks. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'll go into dentistry. Then mm -hmm. people won't know I'm <laughs> sick. Yeah. Um. Okay. Anyways, well, we can move on now. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the support on the podcast and the video gaming series, everyone. Uh, I've been checking those out, and it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. A lot of Plants vs. Zombies, and um, we got more coming down. That's a big dollar. We should be way. getting some uh, a bit of a Dane boost on those Ooh. soon, because I'm uploading a video like literally right after... We're done here. 
Ooh. that shouts it out. And nice. says, hey, check it out. I'll games. take a you, fucking you gamers game like games, right? Yeah. <laughs> you fucking ga- you guys fucking love games. Perfect. Mm. Um, um Yes, uh Canada trip. So we uh we do this road trip from Seattle to Edmonton. Mm-hmm. And uh this time we brought both the frogs with us. Yep. And uh man, uh we we usually we one time we did it all, all in one go, which was like a 14 hour straight, and that was tough. So what we've uh figured out uh Man, Here's an image dog. of the frog, one of them. Yeah, it just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, yeah, now we've uh, broken them up into seven-hour increments. So about halfway through our trip, we'll stay at a place yep. that's dog-friendly. Now, the Airbnb that we stayed at, it was cheap, and it was dog-friendly. It was listed as dog-friendly. Let me tell you what. This place was not dog-friendly. We never learned. We never learn from our mistakes. We always do this. <laughs> we always look for the cheapest Airbnb that looks nice, and then we get there, and then we get hit with the, like... Surprise! No no fucking or sucking on the blankets, no having your dogs on the blankets, no. like, <laughs> or watching you type For the beat. folks at home, can you describe uh, what dog-friendly entails and what this Airbnb failed to meet the requirements. Yes, of. sir. Mm. I'm glad you asked. Yep. So dog friendly basically means that they're cool with dogs. It's a rough and tumble place. Maybe the furniture's a little bit shitty, a little hammy down. Uh, maybe they, they're just used to pissing in the house or whatever. Maybe so. they just like dogs and get that dogs you don't mean. sort of come yeah, to and fro. It doesn't mean they're violent. It doesn't mean much anything. They're just like, <laughs> A little bit more chill, right? Well, they allow you to have a dog at the establishment. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, uh, you're typically, you're allowed to <laughs> use all of the resources that are in the home with your dog, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Um, but th- there are some more like nuanced uh, reason or things that make a place dog friendly. Like, number one, like, not other loose dogs on the property. Yeah. So I think that there should be two categories, dog tolerant mm-hmm. and dog friendly. Right. Those are two very different things. Or yes. dog negotiable. Yeah. Dog negotiable dog makes you think a little bit more. Yeah. Like, do I want to take my dog to this place where they're like, what is it? What kind of dog? Is it three pounds? Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It's three pounds. Three pound dog. Uh, three. Well, wait, let me set the scene, okay? So we roll up to this place, and it's like a little cabin. It looks like a cabin from the outside. You walk up to it, you open it up. It's literally a shack that they have put a bed in. There is no bathroom connected to it. There is no running water in this shack. It is a bed and a heater, and that is it. Um, there is an What'd outhouse. You say? Hey, that's fine. That's fine. If that what? was it, that would be fine. For you, maybe. For, yeah. We're in the middle of a farm. There's I'm no I'm the one who lights. booked the Airbnb, by the way. So if, uh, the, if this isn't making much sense because Anise is complaining about the uh, the way it, it is set up, that's because of me. There were no lights. What at do you night. mean no light? Oh, so if in the cabin? 3 a.m. We're not even in the city. Right. Right. 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, you got to take your flashlight out in like a horror story, like kind of like situation mm-hmm. where like there was a dude kind of like waddling around like a farmhand who had like his like blue healer off the leash, whatever. Anyways, so disconnected bathroom. Fine. Whatever. I'm like processing this whole situation when suddenly we hear a woman's voice from behind. Ian turns around to greet the woman. I'm not it. I'm like. I'm not even fucking when the Airbnb host is there to greet you, you know, you're in for it. Big problems. You know, you're in for it. Big she problems. immediately wanted to tell us that the dogs are not allowed on the bed. The, the square footage of this place, not including the bed, could maybe fit Fiona the way that she's lying right now. Like it was very small. Um, where the fuck are we supposed to put yeah, the dogs if I know. not on the bed with us? That was like, 
that was when it it was like yeah. okay this is it also didn't say that on the listing i would I be know. like oh okay well like at least say at i least mean let us know yeah so okay fine i'm coping with all of that okay we can make it work whatever fiona and merlin will have to cuddle for the night i look over to my left and there was a window big window facing the outhouse that not only we are supposed to use, but there are people that are walking around the farm mm -hmm. also using that outhouse. The shack is on a farm. The shack is on a farm. And so fine, whatever. There's a window facing the outhouse, except there's no curtains. There's well, no curtains. And this is not being entirely accurate here. <laughs> you want to describe the curtains? There's little <laughs> accent handkerchief like maybe like two inch curtains yeah. there is a rod there yeah but the the curtains are not for privacy mm -hmm. so we They're had decorative. people walking in ian can insert the picture oh yeah here. i'll put a picture here uh we had people sorry walking to, to use sorry it. to the christian youth group that's getting doxxed right now <laughs> but you have to see it because he's looking this guy's peering right into ian's like soul in this photo yeah because people are walking around the farm and they're they're told to look at things so we're just like on display like standing in this like 400 no like 200 square foot mm -hmm. room and they're just like like what's in there oh two humans yeah <laughs> awkward like, like oh this is it because they're going around the farm right because there's like a an, an orphan cow and some fucking yeah. chickens that are doing their thing yeah so they're like, oh, this is fucking cool. What a cool road trip. What a cool place to stop off at. Yeah. And it's like, we're just one of the things for them to ogle. <laughs> we get a zoo. Hi. Yeah. Oh, look, a patron. <laughs> <laughs> they look at the Airbnb Don't patron. tap on the glass. Yeah. Okay, so. That's exactly what it felt like. Now, let's all play the game. Mm -hmm. How much do you think it cost in American for us to stay at this Airbnb? Everybody, put your guesses in the in the in the comments. Dane, how much do you think it cost to stay at this place that I just described to you? No sink inside, just a bed, basically, and a, a heater, like a radiator. It was a radiator. You know, you know, I'm always bad at this stuff. Yeah, I'm just curious. Like, um, whatever you say is not wrong. I'm curious if if you ballpark it. Seven hundred dollars. No, it's like a. I mean, a hundred. What was it? One hundred and seventy. Well, this you've would done not... this to me so many times where you just like guess, and then I guess like way higher, and then it just deflates like you your point. <laughs> you know Ian really well. Do you think Ian would book a seven hundred Airbnb I for a know. night? No, it was he, what he's justified. I don't think he would. I, I mean, I didn't think that he would book an Airbnb that doesn't have uh, working water. Uh, I don't think he pipes. knew that. To be fair. Oh, okay. Did you know that there was no water in the... No. Um, I When they show you pictures of the place, it's like uh, they... Like, if you really inspect it, you can piece together that there's an outhouse there. And it all, like, comes into view as you are able to, like, reflect, like, hindsight 2020. Yeah. But when you're looking at the post, you're like... You see kind of the entrance to the small bathroom or outhouse, but it looks like it could be a cabin yeah. bathroom. Yeah. And I was like, oh, like, it must this, be off this to the must side. be, uh, yeah, attached, but it's just like, yeah, to the, exactly, yeah. to the side. Um, but it costs, how, was, what was it, 150? It was 160 American that's or USD. Fuck. Um, but yeah. That's wrong. And that's not including cleaning fees, right? No, I think that was including cleaning oh. fees, yeah. So anyways, sorry, I feel like I hijacked. That's like all the... No, you didn't hijack anything. But I needed to respond to a text, so that oh, was helpful. Okay. Well, that's... Okay, that's good. <laughs> the um, We walk outside to let the dogs go to the bathroom, which there's no, like, fenced-in anything. We just have to, like, leash up the dogs. And Fiona is leash-excited. Like, as in, like, she gets frustrated on the leash if she can't, like, access dogs. Um, and there was like uh, this blue healer that was like very clearly like a farm dog and that's fine. Like I get that there's farm dogs around, like we're on a farm. Cool. I, I get it. But this dog had zero recall. 
like it the owner was like yelling for it to come back and it was just completely ignoring the owner doing whatever the fuck it wanted to fiona fiona was on a leash and we were like what the what are we supposed to do we just had to pray that fiona like Mm -hmm. wasn't gonna freak out yeah it was you know it's i don't know it's one of those things that just makes you go like oh this isn't like as like secure as I, i as i would like it's literally like a um so it's a business being run next to the farm or whatever. It's all yes. like a little compound type situation. Yeah, they and have being like a store. on someone's compound, like it could be really nice if you're a relative or a friend. It's like epic. I yeah. get a place to set, stay and like I'm treated well, but yeah. it's like, oh shit, I don't know you. I'm just like a fucking I'm like a stranger in your compound. Yeah. Like, and you're no clearly curtains. like, yeah. I mean, you. she approached us when we arrived there and, you know, gave us, you know, some rules that weren't on the listing. And it makes you just feel like, oh, That's, shit, yeah. we got another frisky blanket type situation. Yeah, the frisky b- blanket lady. And I think the reason why the blue healer with zero recall was like kind of an extra surprise, because on the listing, it says all dogs must be leashed. Yes. And we were like, well, not that dog. Yeah, which I yeah. get. It's a farm dog. I get it. But, like, at least have recall. Yeah. Like, if you're going to say dog friendly and you're know. going to have random uh-huh. dogs come on your property, at least have good recall for yeah. your dog. That's all. Yeah. So, the just to, to the frisky blanket reference is uh, just because <laughs> I felt I, like we had explained it at some point. I but, don't think we have. Okay. I'll, I'll explain it. Okay. Like a very bridged version. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Anissa and I, when we were first dating, she came down to San Diego and I booked a series of unfortunate <laughs> Airbnbs. <laughs> uh, and when I say a series, I mean a series. The first one I booked ended up being a room. Yep in a guy's like apartment or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And uh, that was its own funny story. We had like, to escape to P.F. Chang's. Yeah. we es- <laughs> Which I had never been to P.F. Chang's. And that was a disappointment on top of the... I know, I know. That was horrendous. So this guy, he basically, we didn't know. We thought he was showing us around the place. <laughs> and then eventually he basically said like, I'll be in here. Let me know if you need anything. And I was like, oh, fuck. Anissa and I like walked out and we we're like, okay. Uh, we're just gonna go get dinner, <laughs> and then uh, we got in the car and we we're like, "What the fuck?" And it was like, "I'm I didn't know it was a uh, just a room or whatever." We were like, so oops. Scared. And this was like the first two weeks of us dating. Yeah, like, it was a was bad very start. New. Yeah. <laughs> but like surviving this is like what made me real. Like I was like, I think we're gonna get married yeah. eventually because we. Uh-huh. So that was the first one. I'll uh-huh. let you can. Do- I just thought that was. Good. And so I think part of the process as well is like, like. Anissa wanted to stream. She was still in her, you know, career of streaming yeah. and she wanted to keep that up. And I wanted her to. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to find a place that would have reliable, like wired internet. Because if you're streaming, like you can't fucking really rely on the Wi Fi. Maybe these days you can, but, yeah. it, you know, it's always a bit of a question. So we ended up finding a place. I found a place where I'm like, oh, okay, this one is like a, what was it called? A, uh, Pool house, yeah, that type it, it of said thing. Detached home. Right, detached home. Uh, so it's like part of a bigger house, but we're like, oh, this is private. This is good. They're going to have internet. It's all legit. We get there and we. Her kids recognized you as well. Yeah. Uh, so the, uh, we, we show up. This woman greets us and she's like, oh, here's the rules of the Airbnb. Mm-hmm. She tells us a, a bunch of shit, but the one thing that stands out is uh, she says, okay, if you guys are going to get frisky, uh, all I would ask is that you use this blanket. This is the frisky blanket. It out of, like, a plastic, like, <laughs> yeah. zipper bag. Like, it yes. was, like, It was literally quarantined... in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, she insane. wanted us to get frisky on the frisky yeah. blanket. That was fucking weird. Yeah. We don't know what's, like, going on, really. Like, you're obviously new to the culture. Yeah, You know, you're Canadian. You haven't been in in SoCal for very long. And you're like, what the fuck? Is this normal? I hope not. Yeah. Um, I was like, this is not normal. This is weird. (laughs) Uh, So the frisky blanket was a theme the entire time. And now we'll reference it when someone's, like, being, like, overly... 
bearing, bearing, overbearing, overbearing uh, well, especially as an Airbnb host. It also got worse after that because mm -hmm. you went to film and I was streaming and uh, we asked, like, can we hardwire to your modem? Mm -hmm. Because, like, I needed to hardwire to stream. We had, yes. like, a computer and everything. And um, she said, yes, it was in her garage. So you hardwired it for me. You bought, like, a really long Ethernet cable. Yeah. And so I'm streaming. And I just hear, like, knock, 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 knock. And I was so, like, scared. I was like, who the fuck is that? That's not Ian. Because Ian would just, like, come in. And so I, I go to the door. And she accused me of hacking. She was like, my kids said that you don't need to hardwire to my modem. And if you're hardwired, you're hacking. They said that you're hacking. And, and so I was <laughs> oh being God. accused of like hacking. And I was so scared. I was in a country I didn't know. This woman was like crazy. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not, I'm just like trying to access the internet. I'm not hacking. I just need a consistent like internet. And she was like, my kids are very uncomfortable. Um, and I was like, okay, well, I'll just like oh detach the internet. God. I just stopped streaming. You came back, and I was so scared. We like hid in the mm -hmm. in the bedroom, and you were playing Hearthstone. Remember, she yeah. came back to try and apologize. Uh -huh. And the next day, we left. We had booked that Airbnb for two weeks, and we left. And she felt so bad that she tried to leave us like a bowl of pomegranate seeds. <laughs> um, she yeah. tried to gift the uh, frisky blanket to you guys. She tried to. She said, "You can take it. You can take yeah. it with you. <laughs> you can take it if you want. It's all yours." <laughs> Um, it was weird. That yeah, was and we had, yeah we were set up for a long time. Yeah, uh, we had bought like a little coffee maker. Yes, we had cereal. We had like stocked up the place because yeah. we we're like we're gonna be here for a minute. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was just it, honestly like the fucking we have not had thankfully a worse Airbnb experience mm -hmm. than that. The the not worse than that no, but like I feel like if we would have stayed because we ended up leaving uh -huh. this airbnb that we're talking about now the one with the no curtains um we got a full refund for it thankfully but um that was getting close mm -hmm. that yeah was, that was weird mm -hmm. i'm weird. sure like she probably would have like accommodated to what you know an airbnb host can if we like complain but we're like i'm not fucking like we don't want to no stay here there's nothing the really that you can do yeah because it's like there were people wandering around the property looking into the room. We're yeah. like, Let's just fucking leave. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I didn't want conflict. I didn't want to be like, oh, no, it's it's okay. Mm -hmm. You didn't want a back and forth. Yeah, exactly. But That's what it is. They weren't, they weren't honest and forthcoming uh -huh. with what – if it said uh -huh. in the listing, like, no dogs on the bed. I know. Very limited space. I just wouldn't have done it anyway. Because, like, we have a big fat Rottweiler. It needs to sleep in the bed with us. It, it needs to. It has to. Just look at it. Look at it. It's a soft belly. It needs she's had to. Her, she's had her damn pussy out for like 15 minutes. <laughs> no, she's, she's fucking loving it, I dude. Think she's got I think this is actually the podcast time is her favorite time because we put Merlin away. So she's not getting bothered by him. And then we're in this room that we never come in. And there's like a big woolen spot for her to like splay out. Yeah. She loves it. That's fucking sick. Good job, Rottweiler. <laughs> Good job, Bullet. <laughs> bullet. Um, okay. Uh, so that was basically the Airbnb experience. We got out of there. We got a we went to a better place that just was very dog friendly. Mm -hmm. Like um, actually dog friendly. Yeah. Uh so. all right. Uh and then on the Canada trip, uh, on our way to Edmonton, we had some Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is goated true they have a lot now, of delicious for the folks stuff. at home who may maybe not don't know what tim hortons is can you explain maybe what tim hortons is to people who don't know i'm so glad you asked dane oh you do know the lore of tim hortons tim hortons was started by a guy named tim horton <laughs> and the reason he started and he it, actually heard a who <laughs> <laughs> the reason he started it is because he was showing up to all these little peewee hockey games and he was like what the fuck we're all suffering here mm -hmm. he looks around he sees all the old white parents who stand around with him and he says mm -hmm. what the hell Y'all could use a cup of Joe in your hand. Yeah, for cheap. So for cheap too, because I know you're not made of money. Yep. And then he decided, fuck it, I'll start a multi-million dollar coffee <laughs> brand. Yep. 
Uh, and there's all sorts of little cute little things with Tim Hortons. They have something called Tim Bits, which is like a dozen or so donut yeah. donut holes in a little cute box. Nothing cuter than that. Like you can get a Happy Meal. Hey, it's what you can do. It's not the best, but the little box. Yeah. Oh, you carry. It's got a little handle, little handle. at the top. The, Man, the best. Hockey games. Whoever brought the Tim Bits. You you come in with the Timbits box. They Everybody got sucked fucking by the team. You. Yeah, you pass them around. You have the Timbits Timbit box open. Uh -huh. There's even an insult that's like your mom's like a box of Timbits. <laughs> that's like a classic uh, that's Canadian hockey cool. insult. Because in the hockey dressing room, you pass them right, around. right, pass so, them around. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Didn't know that. <laughs> Canadian lore. Yeah. So Tim Hortons is great. They they're very uh, modernized now. They've kept up with the times. They got like snack wraps and flatbread pizza now. Flatbread pizza apparently. They have something called an ice cap, which is just like a nice little coffee so, chocolatey drink. Uh, no, no, that's just frozen. Coffee. Just coffee. Just coffee. For it's and made skim, with milk. skim milk. But Canadians, Canadians mm -hmm. will always order it with chocolate milk. Mm. So like Americans. Hey, I'm fine with it. I always say to him, like, order with chocolate milk. And he's like, no, I don't want that. Yeah. But that's the, if yeah. you're going to Canada and, and you, you want to prove Tim Hortons, that you're Canadian. But if you want, like, the good stuff, mm. you order an ice cap with chocolate milk. Mm. It's just what you do. And if you're Canadian, you're coming to Southern California and you go to uh, Alberto's, mm -hmm. you know, if you order a burrito, you got to order... <laughs> Or chata as well That's true. to go with it. No, that is true. That's a good yeah, advice yeah. for uh, at least Albertans. Because mm -hmm. Albertans know nothing about Mexican food. I'm sorry. If you're from Alberta, you've never had real Mexican food ever. Yeah, that's true. Sorry. Uh, so uh, I was drinking my Tim Hortons coffee in the car. Yeah. And I was driving uh, the, you know, seven hours to Edmonton. And I was eating my snack wrap as well. And suddenly... My bowels were overtaken by the most intense feeling of pain in my life. It was scary. I'm not yes. going to lie. I was scared. <laughs> and I was like, babe, I'm getting something bad. I'm getting something bad in me, and I need to get it out. And uh, I might actually just have to pull over. We were like in the fucking mountains. We were in the, yeah. yeah in the and mountains. I was like, I don't know if we're going to find a place in time. The next I'm, bathroom was 30 minutes. Well, the next yeah. gas station mm -hmm. was 30 minutes away. I was going to fucking explode. I don't have, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, da dairy. Lactose intolerance. Lactose in I don't have lactose intolerance. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's what it really like felt like. Mm -hmm. Um, because I've heard other people, comedians, like describe their fucking lactose problems, mm -hmm. and it's a bit, it's a similar, very similar story where like you drink a coffee with some cream in it, yeah, and you're just dead. Well, so this is like a big difference as well. Canada, their creamers is cream. It's milk. Mm -hmm. It's usually like a high fat milk, like yeah. eight, ten percent or eighteen percent. America, when you get a coffee with creamer, it's oil based. Mm -hmm. It's not cream based yeah not always but so most mm -hmm. of the time so because we were in canada you had had a coffee with the good stuff cream cream yeah uh thankfully i found a bathroom blah 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 it worked out mm -hmm. i was able to shit myself in the bathroom don't say that don't say that people are gonna think you literally shit yourself <laughs> i was able to fucking <laughs> you walked into the bathroom and then you shit your pants <laughs> yeah. no no right in front no of the no toilet. dane now you're oh. gonna get clipped out of context you took your oh, pants oh, off put it back to me put it back to me okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> clip that <laughs> yeah clip that um sorry anyways Chat, clip that you shit it in the toilet yes I, sh I shit it in the I shit it in the toilet. <laughs> None of it got on me. None of it got in my pants. Hundred percent of it went in the bowl. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent of it went in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And I Down flushed it. I didn't keep it. I didn't store it. <laughs> uh, so that got us thinking. We were pondering for a while. Because it was so violent. Yeah. We're like, what could that have been? Because I'll, I'll obviously have bouts of, uh, you know, IBS-like uh, situations. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and it's always feels random. Yeah, feels random. Sometimes I'm like, oh, food poisoning. And then someone will be like, that's not food poisoning. You don't shit yeah. yourself with food poisoning necessarily. Well, no, no. So the thing is, is sometimes it's cyclical puking every mm -hmm. 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like you like have to go to the bathroom like right. immediately to shit mm -hmm. like you you have both experiences yeah. and it was always random or felt like random it's like sometimes you could drink alcohol mm -hmm. and you're okay sometimes one yes. or two one drink mm -hmm. could cause you to like cyclically puke yes um same with uh like sometimes you could eat sour cream mm -hmm. sometimes you couldn't yep and it even like sometimes we were like maybe it's onions. Yeah. But then sometimes onions were fine. Yeah, I went on a FODMAP diet where I was eating low FODMAP items, yeah. and I felt for a little while that I was onto something. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I would just eat a lot of a high FODMAP item, and I would be perfectly fine. And it's like, well, this maybe it's just specific foods, you yeah, know? Now you said the phrase FODMAP three times now, mm -hmm. and if you could explain to the folks at home what FODMAP That means that means. FODMAP is going to appear and... Uh, Big FODMAP. Try Wouldn't to... like me if I explained that. <laughs> uh, it's... it's um, I don't even like, get the reference. What is that? FODMAP... Is that? Well, I'm explaining it. I was making a Beetlejuice reference. Oh. Um, don't say it three times. <laughs> FODMAP stands for fermentable... Oligosaccharides. Oh. Uh, and di disaccharides, which so are short acronym. chain carbohydrates that are not easily absorbed by the small intestine. So oh, okay. some people struggle with these. Uh, I think it's, I think it, what it said there was carbs, basically. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's specifically a problem with carbohydrates, not proteins. Right. Um, right. which is kind of interesting. But that wasn't my problem. I tried that out for all of these things. I never felt like a big enough deal for me to go to the doctor for, go to the gastro. It was so random. Yeah. I couldn't, yeah. Couldn't figure it out. Maybe if I had some idea, then I could go and be like, oh, every time I eat legumes, my ass falls out. Are you the type of person where you are afraid of going to the doctor for that problem because there's a pretty high chance... That he's gonna put his finger in your ass. <laughs> Brady, is that, is that, a, is Dane, that like a, a big contributing that's... factor? Dane, to that's really the homophobic of you. Oh, I'm just saying. No, I'm not saying that it's for a for a gay reason. Just saying that I think a lot of guys feel uncomfortable with that in that situation. Hey. I didn't even know that was an option. To be honest, really, you didn't know that. I didn't oh, think you they didn't... were gonna fing be be fingering me. I mean, I don't think that I'm. I have never looked into it, but I think that for like that kind of problem, they might do it. No, it's it's for prostate exams. They put their finger in there to feel if your prostate is enlarged. Right. They yeah, but if it's like a camera a pooping problem, they put a camera up there, a long snake, like a you get a oh. colonoscopy. You don't get a finger. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, but they a knock long you snake. out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a long snake, not a finger. <laughs> hmm. Sounds appealing. Well, they put you to sleep for it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. They're going to put me to sleep and they're going to shove a long snake up my ass. <laughs> mm. Rub your I hands. I don't want to do it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. It's uh, uh, But yeah, uh, we, we put... Our brain. Wait, you didn't answer the question. What was it? Is question? that are you one of these people who don't go to the doctor because you're no, afraid? no. Well, he, he didn't even know that it was an option. Yeah, <laughs> he's just he just doesn't want to go to the doctor because it's it's effort. a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, I got videos based, to make. Based, based. Yes. Yikes. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, so you can continue. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we thought about it. I had. I was like Googling something about lactose intolerance. Mm. I think it was like FODMAP or FOD lactose intolerance, something like that. And an autofill came up with like uh, celiac or gluten lactose intolerance. And I was like, ooh, I've seen the celiac disease thing pop up on my 23andMe. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of the only thing that kind of stands out other than uh, macular degeneration. Um, and so I was like, okay, like, I know celiac shit runs in my family, but... Not only does it run in your family, it's like your great-grandmother, your grandmother, your aunt, and all of her kids are all diagnosed celiac. I think so. 
Yeah, so, like, I mean, mo- like, yeah, most of what you said. It's yeah. in your family. It's, mm-hmm. it's not even like it runs in your family. It's like, Isn't that what runs in your family means? It does, but like when somebody says right. runs in my family, it sounds like they're saying like my it's grandfather right, has right. had it. Okay. Happens from time to time. But right. it's like very, okay. there's a lot of people in your family that are diagnosed with Let me spirit. rephrase. It's who we are. <laughs> <laughs> We're the celiac brothers. We're the celiacs. Well, for me, when... Ian said that I like had a well okay Ian has told me before that he has people in his family that have celiacs and I assumed that it was like because a lot of people who like wanted to pretend like Mm -hmm. they have a gluten allergy um they would say that they're a celiac without like Mm -hmm. like actually being a celiac so when I hear people say like oh yeah my mom's a celiac I assume like my mom doesn't like gluten. Yeah. And avoids it, you know. I didn't I didn't take it seriously, but when you were like, yeah, this does run in my family, I was like, "Oh." Right. Wait a second. Right, yeah, it's a I, real. Yeah. Cause... I mean, if I also in fairness, if I clarified, if I didn't like kind of sweep the topic under the rug, yeah. you probably would have had a clearer idea. Yeah, because so it put everything into perspective because basically if if Ian is suffering from celiac disease, his stomach is con- his intestines, his like GI tract is constantly in distress. It's constantly inflamed because you eat we we eat gluten, and when you try to eat something like a difficult to digest protein, like uh, lactose, or if you uh, try to drink alcohol, if your body can't like handle those things it will act like you're lactose intolerant Mm -hmm. or like you uh, can't take alcohol. So like you were experiencing malabsorption of alcohol and it was causing cyclical puking. Mm -hmm. And when you were having those bouts of puking, I remember like, because I, you know, I have a lot of siblings and we've gotten sick a lot of times and I'm pretty like trained in like how to help someone. Mm -hmm. So I would wait until your stomach was pretty empty and I'd be like, you know, have like a little sip of Gatorade every 15 minutes. And even the Gatorade mm-hmm. was causing you, like small sip, yeah. was causing you to like puke on the clock. Um, and when you would drink milk, you would have lactose intolerant mm-hmm. symptoms when it was tied with gluten. Gluten. Yep. And so everything started to make to sense. Make sense. Yeah. And it was. I didn't think that. I was like, oh, I've maybe figured out my shitting. Yeah. The fact that it was like also coupled with figuring out the cyclical vomiting. Yeah. When only sometimes, I mean, I shouldn't say only sometimes, it it helped me figure out the cyclical vomiting. Yeah. Um, because it it is. I mean, it's like you said. Where technically the alcohol, I think you can drink it if you have uh celiac yes. disease alcohol is gluten-free because the fermentation breaks down the right the proteins but it's still when you have gluten in your system yeah. it's still a, a, a f- essentially acts like the milk would or the dairy product yes. would where it's like oh shit i'm having a hard time with this yeah because it can't digest it yeah. cannot send the enzyme it can't work on digesting these things so it it goes we have to exit this out of your body mm-hmm. and here's the the great well okay so a crazy thing is we were talking about cyclical puking that you experienced when I made the bean confit and mm-hmm. we thought it was the beans. Right. But I bought sourdough bread that yeah. day, which was very rare for me to do. We usually don't have like bread in the house. Yeah. And you ate two massive slices mm-hmm. of that bread. And then you ate my two slices of bread because I didn't eat yeah. a lot of it. And you described that feeling this set pressure me off. Yep. in your stomach. And then it was just like clockwork. Mm-hmm. And um you very rarely eat that amount of gluten yeah and the other crazy thing that we realized is your burping that you used Mm -hmm. to do in youtube videos Mm -hmm. the really loud burps that was also probably your stomach really struggling with all the gluten that it was eating on the day yes it's crazy as well to know like what like is produced from it Mm mm-hmm because, like, I think a lot of the breads and things that I was eating mm-hmm. produces a lot of, like, gas in my stomach and I burp a lot. Yeah. It's interesting that specifically, like, the dairy end of things, mm-hmm. if I have gluten in my system, will make me shit my brains out. Yeah. 
but the alcohol yeah cyclical puking it's, it's the puking so like depending on like the concoction of things like the reaction can be different and it can seem like something different yeah. entirely i wonder if it's because whatever's like getting inflamed or wherever that process has to happen of you like starting mm -hmm. to digest it it can't yeah so depending on where it's sitting in your digestive right. tract it's like maybe it's alcohol. It's able to do one of the job, phase one. Yeah, phase but it one, but do, it can't do. Yeah. So then it has to come back up through your mouth because mm -hmm. it's like, I can't even get down. Right. There. Whereas like maybe dairy gets a little bit further down. Yeah. But like, it's crazy because we've cut the gluten out completely. Mm -hmm. We're trying to be as like clean with it as possible. And everything has changed. Mm -hmm. Like everything has changed. Even like... um. Like, there were times when, like, Ian would, like, be in the bathroom, like, three or four times a day. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, that's not normal. But you were like, this has been my whole life. Mm -hmm. And now that we've cut out gluten. It's really, yeah, hard to know uh, how much, like, uh, like when you should be going to the bathroom sometimes. That's... Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So... I mean, you don't know what I mean. No, but... I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, now it's like... I don't know. There's just like new feeling that I only rarely, because there would be times where I think I'd luck out and I would get, I basically have a gluten free diet for a week mm -hmm. or a couple weeks because I was vacationing somewhere and yeah. there happened to be no gluten that I ate. Like yeah. I could roll the dice on that and there could be some really great weeks. Yeah. But it was very rare. And uh, I think one of the indications was basically like, oh, she, like I'm holding my shit in for, I mean, even 24 hours. Yeah. Like, I'm like, that's a possibility. I could hold shit in for 24 hours. <laughs> well, uh, let me say, the shits after holding it in for that long are so epic. Yeah, that's because <laughs> you were going so often that I can't even imagine. Like, I mean, I think honestly, the reason why you were having good weeks because your burping stopped mm -hmm. around when I started cooking mm -hmm. more regularly. Yeah. And I looked at all the recipes that I have because we, we would do this thing where I would cook. And we would see how Ian's stomach reacted to it because we didn't know what was setting it off. We thought it was IBS. And um, if a meal went well, I would continue to cook it. If it didn't, I would, like, ax it. And I looked at my list of meals that I have that I cook regularly, and all of them are gluten-free. So we were accidentally cutting out gluten just from process of yeah. elimination before we even figured it out. It's awesome. That's so interesting. Yeah. Uh yeah so i mean everything's great it's a little bit difficult to adjust to it i'm i have to be one of those fucking people who says to the waiter like mm, is there a gluten-free option yeah it hurts my tummy <laughs> i don't like gluten sometimes we're afraid to ask and we just kind of like try to assume and that's already bitten us in the ass yeah we were at a diner and we assumed that the yeah because i want to see how much i can test it i think basically yeah. like once once I got it figured out, once I got the routine figured out, the only thing that's going to be, like, a variable is, like, traveling. Yeah. And I'm fine with being a little bit more, mm, can, you, can you remove the gluten, please, <laughs> uh, once I'm traveling. Okay. That's cool. But, yeah, it's big. I don't know. It's like the month of discovery for mm -hmm. you. ADHD. Oh, it's awesome. Celiac. Yeah. It's yeah. Cool. I'm coming. Yep. I'm coming. Look out. Look out. Um... Uh, Do not come. I'm <laughs> crumbing. Uh, and he's going to streaming him. again. Yeah, oh, that's sorry. true. What's up? Anissa streaming again, and uh, I don't know. Like it seems like you're. Uh, you got a little bit. Um, what was the impetus for that? Uh, well, I've streamed f like three days in a row. Yeah, which was like a shocker. I told myself I was going to stream when I want, uh -huh. which has been a lot. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's it, therapy, uh, mm. which is kind of surprising because I, I had this big breakthrough where I was talking to my therapist about like, you know, my mom, right? She had five kids and she like gave up her, mm -hmm. she like went to university. She like had a job. She was doing all these things. Very smart woman. She got her master's and then she had five kids. Um, and then she just, you know, was stay at home mom and that was it. Mm -hmm. And, um, very isolating. And we were talking about us and our relationship and when i was streaming uh there was a lot of hate that was kind of swarming my streams right things were getting clipped it was very stressful for us 
So we made the decision for me to quit right. streaming. And at the time, I thought that that would solve the problem. Mm -hmm. And so I spent, what, it's been like four or five years, four years or something, um, off of streaming. And uh, I was talking in therapy about, like, being, you know, that's isolating, right? I've given up the thing that I, like, loved and cared about and had a community in, and I isolated myself. And um, in the end, it didn't actually make a difference. Yeah. Like, everything was still really hard. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of left that session feeling like shit. Cause I didn't really come to much of a, a resolution. It was just like, Oh no, like I'm repeating these like patterns. Right. Which is always like a bad feeling, but we went to Canada and it was like, I guess it was like cooking in the background of my head or something. Cause I wasn't actively thinking about it, Right. but, um, I came back and I was like, I miss streaming. Mm -hmm. I miss doing that. I miss like having a community, um, I'm, I'm mad at myself that I took that away from myself, uh, thinking that it would solve a problem. Um, and I just kind of like, I don't know, we're in a much better place now. Like we're both like very supportive of each other. Like I'm less anxious about doing it period. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I told myself, okay, well, if this is what I want, like I, this is what I'm going to do. And, um, I just have really wanted to start streaming full time and it's already been, I think it's already going really well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just even thinking about like, hey, it's nothing else going on today. I'd love to stream. is yeah. like a, a big deal. Yeah. You know, because if you weren't, you know, feeling that way, like it would feel bad. Mm -hmm. You know, you would be like, oh, anything but. Yeah. You know, could I go for a walk? Can I go shopping? Can I, you know. I just like missed having my own thing that, mm -hmm. you know, I had that before even we met. Uh, yeah. you know, I, I had it very successfully. Um, I think I, we can, I think your stream can be fucking awesome. You think so? Yeah. I mean, you have the personality for it. Like, you know, very charismatic. That's so nice. Very loud. I am very loud. Yeah. Very active. Well, I've already pissed off people. Well, and even in this fucking <laughs> podcast, right? Maybe, <laughs> maybe this podcast will see growth because... You're gonna fucking spalute all over the uh, all over the live stream. I already had the and people are already. I've, that's I've had, great. I've had three streams and I've already pissed off. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I I really went off uh, two streams ago. Yeah, but I don't know. I think it. Uh, I think it's good. I think the going off is good. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I don't know. Who are you gonna piss off other than like? A bunch of incels like yeah. and people who are just already mad at you i know yeah that's kind of i was like, like sorry what like whatever what are there new people lining up you know <laughs> it's like it's pokimane waiting in the wings like watching your stream all right better not say anything mean yeah. about me is jordan <laughs> peterson waiting in the wings that would be scary better not say anything mean about me do you would you still stream if you knew that Jordan Peterson like was your number one like <laughs> lurk yeah. hate watcher? Yeah. You would? I'd be a little scared. I mean, if it just means he's lurking, if he's just a lurker. Well what if he's cooking something diabolical? Oh. You know, like his dear Muslims or like dear right. Christians. Oh, it's but gonna it be like, Dear Dane. Dear Dear Dane. <laughs> Dear Uncle Dane. Dear Uncle Dane. And it's him sitting in a chair, and you know that it's going to be And he just like... cries for 10 minutes. And, <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> and then he, and at, the, at the end of the 10 minutes, he says, That was the wrong sentry gun to use. <laughs> you needed to use the shortstop. <laughs> That's so scary. That'd it's be scary. Awesome. It's scary to think, because like, I have... Um, you know, maybe like 106 people watching. Mm -hmm. um, and it's scary to think that at least 50 of those are like hate watchers for sure. You think 50? That's such a, that's such a massive assumption. I think so, because like, I think that they're sitting there and they're like, all right, where's the juice? Where's the juice? Like they're like trying to outclip she each other. She can't help it. Well, <laughs> Say something fat. I can't, I really can't help it, <laughs> but it's, I mean, it's cool. Cause I want, I, I kind of want, when I was successful in streaming, it mm -hmm. was because I was pissing people off enough that right. my clips were circulating. 
Yeah. You know, like that's the meta. Yeah. Like when you see a Pokemane clip. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not... never because she's doing some sweet No, shit. Yeah. it's not. And it, it doesn't mean that she's a bad person. Yeah. It's just like when something gets clipped and shared on the That's what they want the reality, out of her. That's yeah. what they want. They yeah. want to be mad. True, true. So like, I mean. That's a good point. I like that. That's what used to like get. I mean, mm -hmm. that's how you found me. Mm -hmm. You were watching like a hate yeah. compilation video. Yeah. About... So it's your guys' fault. True. The hate. The hate people don't make hate compilations no because it's your fault that we got it's married a matchmaking service because <laughs> you <laughs> followed me he was like oh titty streamer in the yeah. hate compilation he like clicked on it he was like don't mind if i do well, he was like she's kind of hot kind of funny kind of hot and follow me on twitter so mm -hmm. your fault yeah you're you're you fumbled all right from uh, uh what were we talking about streaming from streaming yeah. to to... From streaming to creaming to oh. creaming. Today we're gonna go over the top five creams you should introduce to your diet. <laughs> um, Number five, <laughs> dairy cream. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. We, we've missed on buns on on budzing a few times, and it's some people's favorite segment because yeah. it's uh, interactive. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think this was the best uh, one to on buds, but I'll. Do it anyway for sake of consistency. Mm. The last episode, we talked about the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Mm -hmm. We talked about um, what we looked like uh, based on our outfits. Oh, like yeah, where job. we work. Yeah. yeah. What did I say? What we looked like? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, and a couple other things. So I'm going to go through it. Uh, someone said, Ian should enter a curling league. Uh, we were talking about sports Oh, and uh, what sport I would be good at, yeah. I think, or enjoy. Mm -hmm. Curling could be it. Canadians javelin. love curling. Javelin. Oh, I could javelin. Imagine him hurling a javelin as hard as he can. Oh, I could. I actually... I got a mean throw. High jump. I can't no. jump that good. No. No, no, like with the pole. Pole vaulting. No. Oh, I could pole vault. Pole vaulting. I would love to pole vault. Yeah, I think you're a pole vaulter. I should try no, that. I think you would yeah. throw the pole. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> instinctually. <laughs> instinctively. <laughs> throw it and then run up to it and then vault. Okay. I like that. Oh, there's this one thing I want to try. Huh. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Goonie. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically... I laughed really hard at that part of your video, by the way. Oh, yeah. thank you. Um, you're just like not... You're just like, oh, cool. <laughs> You don't even fucking care. <laughs> Such a funny reaction. Yeah, the oh cool was very yeah. <laughs> oh cool. <laughs> There's just some some sort of like a weird uh traversal type pole vaulting thing where someone runs with a pole in their arm. And there's like a body of wa water and then like a little island. Mm. And you basically put the pole in the water and you like as you're like pole vaulting, you climb as high as you can to the top of the pole so that you can make it over to this like island oh. as the pole's falling or something. Jesus. Isn't that, um, you ever seen MXC? MXC, is that the Japanese thing? Yeah, it's uh, Takeshi's Castle, like overdubbed mm. on Spike TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do they that on that. there, yeah, oh. mm, maybe. This one looks they, so fucking intense, but... like you break your leg if you. Do it correctly. Well, they would fall into, like, the poopy water. Oh, true. Yeah. So it's yeah. probably just, like, a safer version yeah. of... Yeah, I want to try that. I think it'd be fun. You mm. should go on MXC. Yeah, I should. You Somebody said bouldering, I saw in the comments, and yeah. you like bouldering. Like... I do like bouldering. And you're good at it. You got freaking tight grip. Yeah. I fucking kill at that shit. Mm -hmm. Long limbs. Yeah. Man, you own. Thank you, Dane. Uh... Uh, I was talking to Ian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says, Ulysses is the name of a past U.S. president, a character from Homer's, mm. parentheses, an ancient Greek writer. Mm -hmm. uh, That's the like Ulysses I was thinking of. And, uh, and also the title of James Joyce's famous novel. Never heard of that. Don't know that person. Mm. Uh, someone says, Dane to me looks like he would work at a place that you wouldn't expect, but is like the biggest, coolest, toughest guy there. Like working at the Lego store or something. <laughs> the Lego 
ghost store. Yeah. 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 The coolest guy at the the toughest guy at the Lego store. Mm-hmm. Eight year old walks up to me. I say, "What's up, bud?" <laughs> Aw. Nice. You would kind of be like a dad. Vibe. You like Star Wars? Yeah, it'd be sweet. Aw. Oh, do you guys hear? <laughs> Legend of Zelda's Lego is coming out September twenty twenty four. Man, I thought you were gonna like talk about the Trump thing or something because no. you were like, "Oh, you guys hear? <laughs> you guys Legend hear of Zelda Legend of Lego Zelda, Lego." <laughs> Also, I'm not lying. Trump is a criminal. Also, Lego. <laughs> um, they're coming out at, because of this. I heard that they're actually. It's weird that you mentioned that they're coming out with like a Lego set of the trial. I I can't. <laughs> the world that we live in. Dude. My brain honestly <laughs> thought for a second that that was true. Wait a minute. I, have I ever asked you this question? I can't remember if I asked you this question. This is like a fun question that I like to ask. What's the most like? fucked up or like offensive thing that lego could come out with a set for like realistically oj chasing the, the bronco <laughs> that's chasing. a good answer. that's a really good answer because it's like iconic enough yeah to where like it could be like historical or right. like they could excuse oh, it as being like oh, pop cultural or like you know what i mean mm-hmm. i think the best one that i've gotten an answer for is just like joe biden or something like just like just weirdly existing yeah, just a Joe Biden set of him at, at, at standing outside the White House. <laughs> standing, I, I was thinking <laughs> like just maybe, be like really weird. Maybe like at his farmhouse like kitchen <laughs> with like his doctor wife cooking for him or something. Or a um a Ronald Reagan one. Oh. Mm. Uh, I got president, one. really. Um what's his name? Robert Picton. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> The serial killer pig to the, farmer. Explain to the folks at home who Robert Picton is. Uh, and by folks, I mean me, because I don't know. Yeah, he killed, I think, about, what, 40 to 50 people? I think he maybe more. 70. Oh, maybe 70. Uh, he Lego him. wouldn't make a thing of a serial killer, though. Oh, wait. What was what was the... What do you say? Like, offensive... But realistically, oh, could, could get ha- made. Oh, like I they'd be you. so tone deaf. That's a to much it. better uh, question than. Of course, you'd be like, "Oh, nine yeah. eleven set." Well, like, it's a, they're okay. not going to make that. Picked you know? in, but they could make a presidential okay. one, and people would be like, "Why did you make a Joe Biden Lego set?" Great That's point. Weird. Great point. It's a little topical though, because I think Picton is up for parole right now. I think he's like maybe. Uh, yeah. Kill him. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Well, if he gets uh, if he gets parole, then they might make a Lego set. True. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to. Oh, think Johnny. Of one. Oh, the Johnny Depp um, trial. Oh, oh, that's a yeah. good one. Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Yeah. Crush a bottle with my bare hands. Oh, uh, like a, like a, like a BP oil spill type set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with like the little like like oh, ducks with oil on them. And yeah. Stuff. I, I like remember my question. friend gave me one that was good. He said it was uh, Ted Cruz, like on vacation. Oh, like Ted like, Cruz, in, like with a Hawaiian shirt on and stuff. I like that, <laughs> except uh, maybe Ted Cruz liking the incest porn on his Twitter scene. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's a great scene. How is that buildable? How do you build that? Oh, I could. I a could little computer that. desk, <laughs> simple house, like you know, I could see it cut in half. Ted Cruz with a shirt, but no pants or underwear on. His wife or whoever <laughs> like lives with him. Up his in, wife in another in room. The, upstairs reading a book. Right. Um, <laughs> and there's a whole basement area where there's like a fucking like a swamp creature or some oh, other devious stuff down there. Yeah, literally, Satan is standing over him, like rubbing <laughs> yeah. his shoulders. Oh yeah, you could be a little bit more artistic with it where you you know employ some other elements i do feel like historically that was a very important moment was ted cruz publicly liking incest porn on his twitter yeah i think uh, oh that might be a That's good be on vh1s i love the 2010s <laughs> 2010s because there's Robert multiple... Downey Jr. is gonna be on there be like yeah i remember that shit that was awesome it was awesome there's multiple politicians who have been Caught doing that? Yeah, because they're so bad with their fucking technology. Yeah. One of them, yeah, just like liking all sorts of like OnlyFans shit yeah. or, you know. Yeah, spam There's one version porn. of that that I am in full defense of, though, mm-hmm. and that's Bob Odenkirk liking 
uh, or like following a Instagram account called like beautiful women's shoes or it was called like beautiful women's mm. feet in shoes or something. It was just one account and people yeah. found out and they fucking clowned on him. Oh. And I was just like, just let the guy look at like, it's like a classy thing. It's not even that. We- not... It's not that weird. I, it's I not would that argue, weird. I would argue that it's less classy mm-hmm. just because you can't it stuff like that kind of freaks me out because like you can't consent like, like <laughs> yeah it's not but there's like not a, so much going on i don't know i don't know it's just a little weird because like i mean it's it fine. is a little weird yeah you're right it is a little weird but they were acting like it was this huge thing mm-hmm. they're just no. like oh my god bob, you got caught fucking jock jerking off in the public square but mm-hmm. bob odenkirk that's a comedian yeah yeah, he's a uh, better call Saul. Okay. Oh, that's fine. If I thought it was a politician, I just feel like that's like a little oh. weird. If a politician is on their official account following, right. no, he's just an actor. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. Whatever. If he wants to fucking yeah. follow some feet, let him follow some feet. Yeah. He just likes beautiful women's feet and beautiful women's shoes. That's it. It is a little Ed Kemper <laughs> coded though. I don't know what that is. Can you explain to the folks at home who Ed Kemper is? Ed Kemper is a serial killer who ended up like murdering a bunch of women. I love Dane's uh, theme today. That is so fucking good. Uh, including his own mother. And uh, he was really into women's shoes. Oh, well, that's not funny at all. And women's feet. Um, Wait a minute. That's not funny. Yeah. A few Halloweens ago, I walked by a couple dressed as Harley Quinn and the Joker, and they were also doing voices and role playing as the characters. Honestly, I wish I could be that free. Me too. Yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting one. Yeah, I do wish I could be that free. Yeah, I can't even do that on this podcast as like a joke, like a one-off joke. Well, you can't even be like, I'm the Joker, baby. I mean, I could do that. But... <laughs> You'd have to be alone in your room, I think. Yeah. No, you <laughs> yeah, know what's true, weird true. with me? <laughs> that would feel so weird. Where... There was definitely an age where I, I could totally imagine that. Now, I would be like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Yeah, I don't know what No, it I is. mean to a camera. Like, if you are oh, if you didn't have a, a live true. audience. Yeah. I, I feel like you, you thrive in a solo environment for this mm. kind of thing. The weird thing about my brain chemistry, I don't know what this says about me, but, like, where I would cringe the hardest at myself is if I was in private. Yeah, you've explained that to me before, and I don't fucking get it. Even me talking or, like, doing an action makes me want to cringe out of my skin. I'll tell Anissa, like, that I'll talk to myself and, like, go over video ideas with myself. I can't. Like, in the car when I'm driving. And I'll, like, talk it out and just kind of just fucking go through some shit. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, you know, like, like you don't talk to yourself in the slightest. Not no. even, like, really in your head. No. Yeah. I don't have anything going on up that's there. That's sad. It's empty <laughs> <laughs> all the time. Chat, I, clip that. Yeah, clip well, that. I think that's what gets me into trouble, to be honest. Because, mm. like, I have no one to talk to, not even myself. So I just put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think about what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but, I, yeah, like talking to myself dancing alone like eating foods that i enjoy watching shows that i enjoy if i'm alone i don't want to it cringes me out for some reason what does that mean someone in the comments explain i think it probably tied to like your self-hatred or something yeah probably 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 a a psychologist question yeah yeah be like uh you know you don't feel uh like you deserve to express yourself yeah no it's probably what it is i don't know something like that but i'll get better at it but it's cool because if i have an audience i'll do anything Anything? yeah it's strange yeah (laughs) wait a minute anything anything i won't like eat this toad eat a Uh, sword or something but i was on the robotics you live toad sorry i was okay i was gonna role play the Eating a lot. <laughs> We're not at that point. <laughs> I was on the robotics team in high school, and it was considered a school sport. Maybe Ian would like robotics. You would. I was. Uh, I don't know that I would. That's just a little too nerdy for me. Really? Yeah. You love. You made monkey ball. Yeah, but I did the w- carpentry part of it. Not really the the yeah. little tech part of it. Yeah. I suck at that shit. I took a, for the viewers at home, I did, I was on a sort of like a 
computer science path in college. And, uh, like, the first fucking easiest class of it is, like, Java. Java 1, something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I fucking barely passed with, like, a C. Didn't you, like, fuck around with, like, MySpace and shit? Isn't that just, like, MySpace, like, coding? No. I don't think that's the same. I think that's, it like, is. HTML. Oh, yeah. HTML. I'd done some yeah. HTML stuff early on, and that yeah. was, like, simple enough, especially when not a lot is expected of you. They're just mm -hmm. like, yeah, this is... You know, just fucking make this web page blue. Double asterisk means bold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm sure I could figure it out with enough fucking shit, but I'm not, like, too motivated or excited by it. Mm. Plus, like, as soon as I realized, like, like people aren't using what I was doing, like, uh, HTML, mm -hmm. like, there's, like, a bunch of other codes that people are, languages that people are using to build websites, I'm like... Wait, I don't even get to carry this over? Yeah. Like, this is bullshit. Aren't there things like camel and snake and, like, animal? Python? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, and fucking CSS or, I don't know. There's yeah, a bunch so of shit. Yeah. Bear. I don't know what any of it does. Lion. Lion. Yeah. Liger. Wolf. Dog. Dog. Oh. <laughs> dog. I said that because I saw a dog. Um, someone says, <laughs> are we referring to this podcast as two and a half podcasters now? Oh, because of little chunky little Merlin. No. Oh. Because of the fuck, because of, because of Dane. But in that podcast, we were talking about two and a half men and I said he looks like the little boy. Oh, did he? Oh, I don't remember you saying that. Yeah. I just thought. You, said, was... you said that I looked like the little boy from <laughs> two and a half men? <laughs> no, Merlin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I don't look anything like that little boy from Two and a Half Men. Well, actually, you would be the uh, the <laughs> closest to the boy. I look the closest to the boy from yeah. Two and a Half Men. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm oh. Charlie Sheen. Mm. And I'm the other gay one. Dane. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dane. I think. <laughs> Dane, I think you're actually the chiropractor. The chiropractor is that what his character yeah. was? Yeah, he's a chiropractor. He's just, no, okay, the, the one gay who's one? The, the, the he's not gay. He was just like an effeminate man who like oh. was the main parent. He he did take care of his son because the mother <laughs> left. But he's a chiropractor. My condolences to the chiropractor. And he he was like that was like the punching line. That was the punchline. Mm. He was like you're a chiropractor, and Charlie Sheen was like the fun uncle. The Funkle. Yeah. Mm. Oh. So, so that's that why I'm Charlie pain. Sheen. Okay. No. All right. I'm the chiropractor. No. This is, are we not listening to the words coming out of my mouth? Dane is the chiropractor. You're Charlie Sheen. No. Hey, it's me. You're too. Charlie Sheen. You're not You're not responsible enough to be, to be the chiropractor. Interesting. I, I'm not responsible at all. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Look at your you look at your house. You're it's That's, decorated. That has nothing to do with being responsible. If Ian was left to his own devices, he would have a mattress on the floor and that's it. That's different. That's different. That's responsibility. Responsibility no, Virgo energy and smarted. responsibility are not the same thing. Mm. Uh if you knew what I have not done that you would be a normal person would do. That's true. true. Yeah. True. Behind on his taxes. Behind on his taxes. No, leave that out. The IRS is going to find him. Behind on his taxes. This is parody. This is parody. This is parody. This is parody. This is covered by parody law. We were joking <laughs> around. This is this is not admissible in court. <laughs> <laughs> that would only be worth saying if I said he's not. He's never going to pay his taxes. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Well, eventually. TikTok told me I didn't have to pay him, so. Yeah. Eventually, you know, when he's dead and gone, I'll pay him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's like you're just yeah. racking up IOUs. <laughs> uh, I think the song Anissa was reminded of by Ian is the intro. In the intro is Feeling Good by Michael Buble. No, that's what you were singing. But the. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, that was the other part. True. Or like whatever. The, you yeah. weren't even doing it that way. I, it no. is the Mr. Grinch okay. you were singing. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, he He's looks a like mean a, one. He's a mean one. Yeah, Mr. Grinch. That, he mm, looks Mr. like a Grinch. carpenter or dude who paints houses. You were Dane. Uh, me, I think. Uh, and then he says, I say because my friend Quentin looks like him. He carpenter. He Tarantino? carpenter. 
I don't think so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Spelled differently. Painting houses is code in the mob for being a hitman. Mm -hmm. Really? He's yeah. painting houses. I learned that from watching The Irishman, starring Robert... De Niro. Pattinson. De Niro. What, is it actually Robert De Niro? Yeah, I was going to say Robert Downey Jr., but it is Robert De Niro. Mm. Hamilton is or never was a president and is on the $10 bill, not the 20 mm. Also, the second president was John Adams, and geez, you guys got to learn some history. <laughs> okay. I was I was going to until you said it like that. Yeah. They, well, they said Jeez, JK guys... love y'all on the podcast. So Jeez. oh sorry. Oh, okay. They well, brought, brought it nice together. He's, the a end. he's a nice guy. Yeah. Um I don't know shit about shit uh, when it comes to American <laughs> history. Yeah, uh, shout out and Lizard American, Boy so. for making um a bunch of uh shorts of the podcast. I think uh, they are the only person uh, I've seen really making shorts of our podcast oh, unpaid style. Um, they've it's been more like Joji focused. I think they're a big Joji stan, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but it's been sweet. So I've just you know shout out Lizard Boy, uh, mm -hmm. appreciate it. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm sick right now. Yeah, it's like caused brain fog or something. I don't know. Yeah, I was trying to pay with my credit card this morning for Merlin's like vet appointment, and mm. I forgot my pin that I've been using for the past twenty years. Mm. Yeah, that was uh, fucking rough. It's really scary. I like put yeah. my card in, and I stood there at the pad, and I was like, I don't know what to like put in. Yeah. I like looked at you really scared <laughs> cuz I I'm, I'm so scared that I'm like getting Alzheimer's or something like really young. Yeah. So like when I I it's been the same pin my whole life and I I don't know what happened. It just like fell out of my body. I think that happens. We'll yeah. See. I was telling Anisa like I I kind of feel like you know, I think we can all be that can happen to any one of us given the certain circumstances. Mm -hmm. Like even people be being asked like very general knowledge questions, man on the street style, like your fucking anxiety and being taken out of your element mm. makes people say the dumbest shit. And it's the same thing for your fucking uh, pin sometimes. Yeah, I hope so. I don't know. It was weird. I also like am recovering from getting my teeth pulled out of my face. Yeah. And What were you uh, sick with? Um, well, we went, when we went to go visit my family, they thought that I meant June 18th, not May 18th. So we kind of showed up as a surprise and they were all sick. Oh. Yeah. So. Just like a cold or what? Yeah, just like a cold. I don't know what it is. Cold brain fog. It's I'm like getting a lot of brain fog. fog. Um. Whatever that means. You know, so. I was, um, I felt like. Sometimes you can kind of feel yourself getting sick, you know, where mm. you like you get a tickle in the back of your throat or like your nose starts plugging up or your eyes start watering for no reason. You're just kind of like, I think I'm getting sick. You ever feel that way sometimes yeah. where you just like you can feel it coming on? Yep, definitely. Now, I'm going to sound like a crazy like TikTok scientist or something, but every single time that I felt and this happened over the past like five or six years ever since I found out about this I don't know how I think my mom told me about it or something but um, <clears throat> every time that I felt that coming on I take a, a zinc pill mm. a pill just of pure zinc mm -hmm. uh, that I got from the pharmacy or something yep uh, or like target <laughs> you sounded took... exactly like Norm Macdonald when you were like a zinc pill. <laughs> A pill of <laughs> pure zinc. Uh, yeah, this there... podcast has been very norm coded. The <laughs> um, the zinc pill, literally the next day, every single time for the past, like I, I haven't really gotten sick hardly at all because every time I felt that that I am about to get sick, I take a zinc pill and, the, and then I feel fine the next day. Yeah. I think it's I think it's a, like a secret cure or something. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a secret cure, but um. It's really interesting you bring that up because there are a lot of like studies, especially around COVID and zinc specifically. And oh. um, yeah, because well, the way... to be to be fair, I wasn't claiming that it cures COVID. I feel no, no, like no. get it... this get this podcast with the little the little thing underneath. Oh, it. right. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that it, <laughs> it, it claims to cure COVID, but they were looking at specifically because yeah, yeah. like the way that um, 
like viruses bond to your shit they like have to fit in this like there's like receptors or whatever and like zinc paired with like i think he was specifically talking about you, there's like a bit of a concoction where it's like your vitamin c your zinc something else needs to be like doing well for you to kind of like have a better chance of it not connecting with your cells and mm. spreading so i i do know that there is something to the zinc thing um, that is backed up by meta-analysis or like interesting studies that are kind of like that ha were coming out. Um, I don't know enough about O chemistry to like confidently explain it, um, but I know enough that like that stuff can make a difference. I don't know if it can make a difference in like retroactively after you start feeling sick, but I know that having like, you know, having your um, vitamins up like, where they should be in your body is a good thing. Um, yeah. Like having magnesium and zinc and I've heard a, a lot of and... random things about zinc. So I definitely believe that the zinc thing is, um, it is a thing for sure. Cause it's also just, it's also a good piece of advice as well, because it's like the equivalent for me of like people do that shit with the vitamin C. Yeah. Uh, like the airborne or the emergency or all that yeah. sort of shit. So, you know, which zinc is, is another, part of the equation yeah so they're all it's all linked and they all help function they're all just fucking vitamins yeah i mean your body needs them either for hormone production or other things your body needs them for something yep yeah so it's, it's not bad it's to use them for something yep yeah i mean something's like, going on down there if you have really bad period cramps like sometimes you have low magnesium yeah that's why they say like oh. you know taking magnesium like um there's something called seed cycling that some women do. I do that. Uh, huh? The goonie? <laughs> I'm cycling oh, goonie? my seeds right now. Oh, goonie goo goo? <laughs> goonie, are you gooning? I am gooning. Seed, seed cycling. Yeah. The, but um, part of it is eating uh, pumpkin seeds that are high in magnesium. Mm, yeah. At a certain point, and it's supposed to help with... Cancer. I remember your pumpkin seed run. Yeah. yeah. It's helpful. It is helpful. So. Uh, okay, cool. That's pretty much it for that uh, week's ombudsing. Uh, I had one other thing on the docket that I want to talk about, which is basically, uh, Anissa and I are going to go to Open Sauce, which is William Osmond's, uh, uh, electric parade in San Francisco. <laughs> electric parade! <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Uh, 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 I want to clarify, I didn't invite myself, okay? Oh, yeah, no, I just go places with my wife, because okay. she's my wife. I just want to clarify that. <laughs> um, and most of the time, I don't go on business trips. Yes, I actually just got back from a business trip that was all me, all alone. Most of your business trips, when yes. you went to Austin, yes. Australia. Unless it's Crater Clash. Unless it's And then well, you go alone sometimes. Well, yeah, because that we, we co-own that. Yeah, because we coexist. Oh, that's true. Oh, like this. You're Muslim, I'm Christian. Oh, that's true. You're biracial, I'm not. <laughs> biracial? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think uh, that yeah. I don't think Arab you, you don't classify. I don't right. think I think That's Arabs true. are considered white. Yeah, they are. Yeah. It's a lot easier for for Ian to uh snort cocaine when he, his yeah. wife isn't mm -hmm. I, nagging it, him all the time. It's you know? very funny you say that because actually um <laughs> do you know what I'm going to talk about? Yeah, yeah. Uh I did run into a creator who happened to be at VidCon cuz he goes to VidCons alone with um Max or he used to back before COVID happened. And um, he ran into one of my mutuals at a party, I guess. And Ian gets a little freaking crazy when he's with Max and Chad because it's just like, you know, his time to shine or whatever. He's having a good time, whatever. Anyways, I run into this mutual at TwitchCon. And they come up to me and they were like, did you know that your like boyfriend was on Coke when I met him? <laughs> I just confidently was like, he was on Coke. I was I, not on Coke. I've never taken Coke in my life. I was like, I was like, what? And like, I, cause it, I don't care if he's on Coke, but it, it would have been really weird if he was like taking Coke and like never shared it with me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what the fuck? So I like phoned Ian immediately and I was like, are you like fucking huffing coke and like not telling me about it? It made me forever fucking were, hate this guy who said that. You were so mad. Yeah. You were so like, what the like, fuck? Who's That's just said like an that? outright lie? Yeah, they were very confident about yeah. it too. Yeah, we're gonna go to this uh open sauce thing. It'll mm -hmm. be cool. There's a lot of different kooky characters there. Yeah. A lot of science heads, math heads. Meth heads. Meth heads. <laughs> 
Uh, You're one of them now. Yes. I'll be one of the meth heads. Yeah. I'm speaking at my own panel. Oh, the meth head panel? Yes. Fuck. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the name of the panel club. is The Advantages of Meth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. The untold um, power of meth. Unraveling the onion <laughs> of meth. <laughs> Unraveling the onion. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're just, you know, going to have fun over there. Uh, and that'll help give us content to talk about on the podcast. True. We're trying to live life so we have something to tell you guys about. Yep. And, um, you know, I'm uploading regularly now. All full steam ahead. Yeah, I'm super excited. People really liked your um, video that you put out. Thank you. Yeah, I really liked it. I thought it was awesome. Thank you. I liked it when you talked about gay people murdering people. That was all a joke, all jovial. <laughs> Wasn't true. None of it was true. <laughs> true. <laughs> Wasn't true. Yeah. No, yeah, I liked I liked. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I thought you had really good... Points. Jokes. And points. Well... No, I'm just, yeah, and very good point. All right. And you're handsome. The dog was fucking belly up this whole episode. They're well, going to side belly. think that it was dead. <laughs> Fiona, show everybody you're not dead. Fiona, fart. We She's her not fart beating the you. dead allegations. No. <laughs> Fiona. Fiona. Oh. <laughs> you oh. are beautiful. In every single way. Hey, let's see if she can speak while lying down. Oh. Fiona, speak. Speak. Oh, uh, she needs, she needs to get up to do it. Whoa, Just her full diaphragm. Whoa, use your diaphragm. Ah. Ooh. Whoa, thunderous. That was crispy. Thunderous. Wait, get her to do it louder. I don't. I don't have a command for louder. Right, Fiona. <laughs> Fiona. Speak. <gasps> Speak. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> That's badass. Speak. Good girl. Yes. Ooh. Good dog. <laughs> So epic. You are awesome. Thank you per, for proving you are your so awesome. health. You, know. you are so pretty. All right. Subscribe to our Patreon. Do it, and you will be rewarded handsomely with, with content for months and months and months. And we did skip the bog, but the that's the bog is back, baby. Next week this week, yeah. Wednesday. Uh for every day that we miss or skip. The next one is even better. Oh, That's, I thought it was uh, going to be rule. like uh, like the Ram Ramadan law. Oh yeah, which where you like, just if you consistently fucked. Well, if you miss a day of fasting, you have to make it up with two days. Oh no, not that. Okay. But the content will feel as if it was two days worth of content. Of fasting. <laughs> of fasting content. And with that, Asta. La vista. Oh my god. <laughs>